Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I just I just have kind of a chill Saturday going on so I thought I'm gonna just get ready and chat with you guys about some things um, that have been on my mind and just it'll probably be a really chatty just all over the place blabby video. <laughs> um, but yeah I'm gonna get ready I'm gonna put my makeup on and hang out with you guys for a minute. So you want to see that <laughs> go ahead and keep watching so I'm not like a makeup guru obviously um, but I'll tell you guys what I'm using as I go I guess um, I'm just using this baby skin instant pore eraser um, a lot of my makeup is drugstore makeup cuz yeah that's what I like <laughs> Obviously, and I have a lot of breakouts going on. I'm blame just blaming being pregnant on all these breakouts. I have really weird skin. You guys watched, if you guys watched my last vlog, I kind of complained about that and talked about it. Uh, I'm just, you know, dealing with all the fun little symptoms of pregnancy. And one of them is my skin is super dry, slash, I'm getting lots of nice breakouts. This second trimester. Well, I'm actually in my third trimester now. So I'm 29 weeks today, which is so great. I'm just so happy to be feeling um, pretty good, but also um, just that this baby is growing and doing well. So that just makes me really happy. So this foundation I'm using is um, it's actually from Senegence, which is um, uh, like a, the same company that sells lip scents, if you're familiar with lip scents. I really love lip scents. I actually was a distributor for lip scents for a little while. I really liked it. I, um, I started selling it because I wanted to make a little ooh, extra money. You guys know I work full time. But we were going to be doing IVF, so a couple years ago, I started selling lip scents as a way to supplement our income. Hopefully, you know, didn't make a ton of money with it, to be honest, but it was fun to do. I really enjoy playing with makeup, and it gave me a chance to do that, as well as make a little money on the side, which was, which was good, obviously. Um, this is my favorite sponge from L'Oreal, I'm pretty sure. But I like it better than the Beauty Blender because the texture is just, I just like it better. It lasts longer, I think, than the Beauty Blender, too. Um, yeah, so if you're wanting a drugstore sponge, this one's my favorite one. It's like eight bucks, I think. Um, yeah. So tonight we are going to uh, get out game, like a scavenger hunt with some, is that what you call it? It's like a room where you have to like get out <laughs> and use clues and stuff to get you out. We're going with some friends, so it should be fun. Um, and it's a zombie theme, which is a little bit scary, stressful for me because I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they can like, if they, there's like actual zombies in this room or what, but oh my gosh, I'm a little nervous. So we'll see how that goes. So I um, had an interesting, uh, I've had some interesting conversations. If you're not following me on, Instagram. I'll put my Instagram handle in here. Um, and I've had some interesting conversations with people on Instagram through DMs. Recently, um, I just have people reach out to me. I'm not going to say a lot, but I do get people asking me questions about my IVF experience and pregnancy and stuff. And um, I get some pretty interesting questions. Um, one question that I got recently was if we, 
if we did um, gender selection with our IVF, with our embryo, like if we picked the gender girl, and I guess just like what my thoughts are on gender selection. Um, I, I don't know. I feel like that can be pretty controversial and I don't know if I even want to address it, but, um, for my husband and I, it wasn't really an issue because we only had, um, out of our three viable embryos, only, th um, they were only girls, all three of them. So it's not like we really could pick um, but we ultimately decided that from the beginning of IVF is we would just put in whatever embryo looked the best as far as grading and we would just have them surprise us. Like, so if we had a boy and a couple girls or whatever, we would just say, just put in whatever embryo looks the best as far as grading and, um, just surprise us with the gender. We'll do a gender, like we'll find out later, you know, what the gender is. Um, but because we had all girls, um, uh, and we found that out from the beginning when, when they first did PGS testing on our embryos, then we didn't really have that choice of like, we didn't, yeah, it was just, it didn't even, it wasn't even a thing for us cause they were all girls. Oh, and the concealer I use, I actually have like three different colors right now. Um, but it's the Maybelline fit me concealer. I, this is like, I've used it for years. It's my favorite concealer. Um, anyway, so I do a really light one under my eyes and then I do like more skin tone ones, obviously on my face to cover up all these friends I've got. But yeah, so as far as um, gender selection goes, um, Eric and I never really talked too much about it. We kind of thought like, Ooh, I guess we could pick, like, do we want to put a boy in first or do we want to put a girl in first? We thought about it that way a little bit, but we never thought about it being like a moral or like controversial thing, to be honest. We were just like, I don't know. We just didn't think about it that way. And I'm not sure it, I, I'm, I don't know if we would have had more embryos we maybe would have spent more time thinking about that. Um, and maybe if we had a boy, then maybe we would have spent more time thinking about that. But for the most part, I just kind of live my life like you do you. It I don't, your decisions don't affect me. So I don't really care what you do. And I don't really think it's a, I don't know. I don't think it makes you like a bad person or I don't question your morals if you want to choose what gender you of embryo you put in um I totally agree that people should do PGS testing and so if you want to find out the genders great um but I do think PGS testing is very valuable for those of you who will be going through IVF um but I know that in itself is a controversial thing and you know, whatever, you just, you do what you feel comfortable with. Um, now when it comes to people going through IVF just to do gender selection, that's a little weird to me because like, let's say they are totally fertile, normal people that can get pregnant on their own, but they really want to pick, um, like a certain gender so they go through the whole process of IVF to do that that seems crazy to me and I read a news article where that's like kind of what they were saying is people who have money um have done that I don't know how many people have actually done that but but they were talking about how that's like the way of the future <laughs> you know like people are just gonna start gender selecting I don't know I don't think people will really do that like that much but I thought that was very interesting that somebody would spend that much money um, just trying to get a particular gender. But again, I really do just live my life like whatever you do you. If you want to spend all that money and go through all that, then pff, I guess that's your prerogative. So anyway, um, those are basically my thoughts on that. I've actually had 
a few people recently on my Instagram ask, talk, I, I mean, just ask about gender uh, and on my YouTube comments, ask about gender selection and like if we chose a girl for our first anyway. So I just thought that was interesting um, that it all, oh, I had it all, several of those comments in the past, I don't know, a couple weeks. And so I thought maybe that was something I could talk about on here. Um, but yeah, those are basically my thoughts. Okay, so I recently started using this Fit Me powder. Um, and I really, really like it. And the compact has a mirror, which is so nice. Because most, like, drugstore compacts do not have mirrors. And so I can just use the mirror when I'm putting my makeup on. I haven't been doing too much to my brows lately. Excuse me. Um, I've just tried to fill in just a little bit, mostly because I've been so tired lately, you guys. This um, third trimester's probably gonna kick my butt. Um, I know I was tired my first trimester, but I don't know. I feel more so, I think, this third trimester, and I think it's because I just, not only am I tired, but I'm just like, my body kind of aches and stuff, and so I just have to rest more. Okay, so another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, I don't know if, um, if you've been pregnant, I want to know if you can relate to this, I guess. I have been totally comparing myself to other pregnant women lately. And I know I shouldn't do that, but I can't help it a little bit, you know? I just, I see pregnant women, like, especially on social media, and I wonder, whoa, am I, like, <laughs> I think I've gained a lot more weight <laughs> than they probably have. It's just like the body comparisons that I keep compare, I, I keep doing. Um, even the, um, just like my, the size of my belly, I'm like, whoa, her belly, she's 29 weeks too, and her belly does not look as big as mine. Like, am I normal? Am I okay? Is everything all right? I know everything's fine, but why, why do I have to compare myself? Um, when I find myself doing that, usually I just hop off of like Instagram or whatever, because Ain't nobody got time to be feeling sorry for themselves like that because their selves, themselves. Um, yeah, because overall I'm just like super grateful and happy and loving watching my body change. Oh, this is the NYX Micro Pencil. I used to always use the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, but it's like $20 and that one does just the same amount of, I mean, it does the same exact thing. So, um, I used to always use the Anastasia Beverly Hills, uh, clear mascara, well, clear brow gel, but now I just use this cheap mascara, it's clear mascara from Maybelline, and it works great. I'm just realizing I use a lot of Maybelline products. Okay, now I'm going to use the um, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, which is like super popular. I have been thinking lately a lot about what those first couple months are going to be like once this baby gets here. And it's honestly made me a little bit anxious, I think. Um, I have struggled with anxiety it was really bad when um, I was like in the thick of dealing with infertility. Um, but I have felt it a little bit. I haven't felt it for months, um, <clears throat> but I have felt it this past week. And I'm wondering, I'm like, is it just because I'm a little worried, stressed about what life is going to be like when this baby gets here? Um, I just feel like everyone talks about how you're not going to get any sleep and um, it's just really hard and I don't know. I wonder if I just surround myself with, with like there are just too many 
negative people in my life that all they do is focus on like how when you get pregnant or I mean when you have your baby like all you, you just never get any sleep ever again and that's like with kids that's just life once you have kids you never sleep or basically do anything fun again and I just I think I'm letting that go to my head and and I do see how hard kids can be sometimes but I don't know Obviously, people keep having kids, so they can't be that hard. But I know we are going to be super lucky and have a ton of help um, because everyone around us already has kids. They know um, what to expect. They know how to, like, how to help. And, yeah, so I know we're going to get a lot of help, but I'm still just like, I don't know what to expect. Like, is she going to be a good sleeper? Is she going to have colic? I don't know. Those are things I can't control, so I'm going to just try to just enjoy um, the end of this pregnancy and getting to just enjoy the anticipation of her coming as well as her being here and being a fresh new little babe and enjoy all the like wonderful things that come with newborn life um, and not focus on the things that I can't really control. I have however been, oh that was um, from my Naked palette, um, just the basics. I just use uh, this color right here, I think it's called Naked, Naked 2. Um, I use that to just kind of contour my nose a little bit. I'm trying to think of other things that have been on my mind lately. I'm getting super anxious to do her nursery, get it all like decorated and clean and perfect because I want it to be perfect for her even though I know she's not going to be sleeping in it for, oh, uh, I don't know, a few months. Oh, I was going to say, um, speaking of sleeping, I have been finally reading some stuff about babies and sleeping and all that stuff and it's helped ease my mind a little bit so I know the Ferber method is kind of a controversial thing however I think that's what we will end up doing if we need to which most likely we'll need to because it kind of sounds like babies just don't know how to like sleep on their own like you have to train them you really do have to sleep train your baby you can do sleep training I think around four months four to five months um, as long as they're, you know, your pediatrician um, says that their weight is good and that they're getting enough, like, nutrients and stuff, um, like they're not underweight or anything. Um, and from what I can tell, it seems like most pediatricians, well, I don't know if this is true, but it seems like a lot of pediatricians recommend the Ferber method, which if you guys are unfamiliar with that, it's just the cry it out method, so... Yeah, um, so I've been reading a lot about that, and it's pretty interesting. Okay, so I just finished um, my liner. I use this other Cinegence product. It's called Shadow Sense, and it lasts on your eyes, like, really, really well, which I have pretty oily eyelids, so this does a pretty good job. I don't usually spend too much time doing eye makeup, Unless it's the weekend. Because, yeah. Especially lately, I've just been so much more lazy when it comes to um, makeup. I just don't really feel like doing it as much. But on the weekends, I like to take some time and get ready. Okay, so if you guys have any... Um, if any of you out there have done the Ferber method for sleep training your kids, um, let me know. And also let me know if you have any resources that you think are valuable as far as sleep training goes. I would be very interested to hear what you guys, like what your experiences are. I really appreciate your guys' comments and suggestions and stuff. Especially, I'm a first time mom so I obviously don't really know what I'm doing. Um, and I can only research so much. I'm going to have to learn a lot of this as I go. I'm just going to use a little bit of this darker brown and just sort of define my, I feel like such a guru, I'm going to define my uh, 
crease a little bit. But I'm not going to really do any other sh eyeshadow. And usually I don't do this after eyeliner. I do it before eyeliner, but, you know, I got distracted because I'm talking to you guys. Speaking of really appreciating your guys' input and um, the comments and stuff that you guys give me on here, I would love to know if there's anything that you wish you would have known before you had your first kid. <laughs> um, any, like... Things you wish, things you wish you would have prepared for better, or things you wish you wouldn't have gotten so stressed out about. Um, yeah, give me all your tips, please. Like, I so appreciate all of that. So, let me know in the comments below. Um, what it, like what your advice is as far as what to expect, and you know what you wish you would have. What you wish you would have known before your first baby. Oh, and I think I forgot to tell you guys that the blush I used was um, Luminoso from... Oh my gosh, what is the name of this brand? <laughs> Milani. <laughs> anyway, um, I love this. I've had it for so, so long. I probably need to get a new blush. Okay, and since it is the weekend, I'm going to put a little highlight on and get a little crazy. And this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, and it's an opal, and it's so pretty. Um, yeah, I really like this stuff. So I'm just going to highlight just above my cheeks. You know, just where the YouTube gurus tell me I should highlight. So I don't know if you guys follow Becca Bristow on YouTube, but she has this, she has really pretty lashes and they're not fake. I was thinking about getting fake lashes, but I'm going to try her little concoction. Um, so I've been using it for a week. haven't really noticed a difference yet, but basically she just, um, makes this like DIY, it's cast, um, castor oil, um, mixed with some essential oils and she puts it on her lashes every night and she says that's what help, has helped her lashes grow. So I've done that every night and like I said I haven't noticed a difference yet but I'll keep you guys posted I took a before photo I'm saying this because I did a lash serum from Rodan and Fields a couple years ago and um, I really liked it within a couple months my lashes were amazing but it was like a hundred dollars and after a few months of doing that my lashes all started to fall out and it was so scary like after six months I was still using it and then one day I woke up and my lashes like were falling out like crazy like not just one or two every day or whatever it was like 10 within two days like one day and then 10 more within the next and all my lashes were gone basically I had to wear fake eyelashes for a month while they grew back so I stopped using that and ever since then my lashes have been really short and skimpy so that sounds like a, a a dress like my mom would tell me not to wear when I was in high school that dress is short and skimpy anyway um so yeah um hopefully this castor oil stuff works wonders otherwise I might actually get fake lashes so like do lash extension extensions and just try those out even though I've heard mixed reviews on those too um and I don't like sometimes when I look at girls that have lash extens extensions like they just look so fake that I don't know I don't know if I'm into that either but um sometimes I like the look sometimes I don't so let me know your guys' thoughts what do you think about lash extensions have you had them do you have them do you like them are they worth it? Um, I know like the upkeep can be annoying, but I like that's I could deal with that, I think. This is just the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express mascara and it does a fine job. Nothing like amazing. My favorite mascara has probably been 
the L'Oreal Lash Paradise or the um, Better Than Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, which is basically like the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I don't know. I think the Better Than Sex one's a little bit better. I like it. I feel like the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Um, it doesn't last as long as far as like it's um, what it does. I don't know. It's just like after a month or whatever, a month or two, I'm like, okay, this isn't as good as when I first opened it. I don't know why that is, but that's just, those are just my thoughts. Okay, to finish off this look, I'm going to use a lip sense color. Um, I used to only wear lip scents because it just, why wear anything else when this lasts so long? Um, now I still mostly wear it, I guess, but I do, um, wear some, like, butter glosses and stuff just because they're easy to apply. Lip scents takes a little bit of time, but it lasts all night and all day. I don't know. So it's really nice. I like that I don't have to worry about putting on like lipstick or getting lips I hate getting lipstick on stuff it's really annoying um so this color is Aussie Rose and it's just a light pink I really like it I also always look like a weirdo when I apply that stuff because you have to like let it dry and you have to keep your mouth open and yeah anyway but I really like it it's a nice soft pink color. So anyway, that is it for today's video. I might spruce up my hair a little bit and change my outfit before heading out on our little date night. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I appreciate all the support and when you guys answer all those many questions I have, I just really, really appreciate that. Um, let me know if you guys have any other questions for me. Um, and if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and like this video and I will catch you in my next one. Bye guys.